What is going on everybody? Welcome back to today's video. I'm super excited to share with all of you today's football film study, this how to watch film video. Today we're gonna to be breaking down Cover Zero, the Cover Zero scheme, how to play it, how to watch film, and execute this defense as a player. Also, if you guys wanna check out my previous video, go ahead and check out in the top right hand corner above. Go watch that video and come back and watch this one. Before we dive into today's video, again, YouTube is telling me that 96% of you that are watching this video are not currently subscribed. So if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notifications bell so you can stay up to date with all of my latest football help videos and if you happen to be watching this on any of my other social media platforms don't forget to give me a follow on all of those as well now without further ado let's dive into it so before we jump into the actual film study and watching these two clips that i have prepared for you guys we're going to go into just the basic of what cover zero is how to play it when to play it and what exactly you need to know as a defensive back when playing even a linebacker we aren't going to really get too much into the defensive line but more or less it's going to be the defensive back the linebacker that are playing in coverage as well as blitzing. So for starters, cover zero is a coverage with zero deep defenders, hence the term cover zero. So you're not gonna have any deep defenders in this case, usually in your cover one, two or three, which we will get to in later videos, we'll have one high, two high or three high players. In cover zero, there are zero high defenders. So what this means is you're gonna be in a man-to-man -man defense in terms of being a defensive back and an odd linebacker. Usually cover zero is used as a pressure defense. The purpose is to either get the quarterback sack or have him throw an errant pass. As we said before, cover zero is a man-to-man -man shell defense. So for the defensive backs that are in coverage, they're going to be man-to-man -man and have no help. So in that case, all the defensive backs are usually going to be in a press coverage with inside leverage. The reason you're going to be in inside leverage is because you're going to want to push your receiver to the outside where your help is, the sideline, right? So if you don't have any help inside, your next best friend is going to be the sideline. The reason more than likely why you're going to be in press coverage is because it is a pressure defense. So your D-line and your linebackers are pressuring the quarterback. They're trying to get there as fast as they can. And usually there's an extra man that's coming that the offense isn't going to be able to block. So in that case, the throw is going to be out very fast. So you want to be in press coverage you don't want to be seven eight nine ten yards off the ball letting the receiver make an easy catch cover zero is usually ran in goal line situations most of the time because you want to add an extra linebacker or defensive back into the box or bring in an extra d lineman from the sidelines to stack the box and get numbers because most of the time the offense is usually bringing in a few more blockers to provide an easy run up the middle or off the tackles you will see cover zero sometimes run you know in third and short second and short situations maybe even at the start of the series just to mix something up it's usually up to the d coordinator in that case but cover zero is really risky to run when you're not in a goal line situation the main reason being is there's no high player there's no one in the middle and you have tons of field between you if you're a man coverage player press db on a receiver they're gonna have tons of room to run and let's say the sack doesn't get there or the quarterback is able to scramble out and get more time that just allows the receiver to get downfield more get open and ultimately score a touchdown and from a defense Defensive perspective we do not want to give up a touchdown so playing cover zero in those second and short third and short when you're not in the goal line is definitely a risk challenge so with all that being said on the intro to the cover zero scheme let's hop over to the film room and check out these two clips that I have prepared to you so we could watch cover zero being played live by another team and see how they execute it against their opponent all right everybody welcome to the film room here we have a clip from this past year's Super Bowl you have the Kansas City Chiefs on defense and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on offense the Kansas City Chiefs were running a cover zero blitz. They ended up bringing seven men on this blitz to force an errant throw by Tom Brady, which resulted in an incompletion. As you see, Kansas City is running a pretty standard 40 front. They have four down linemen. You'll see the weak side end right up top here, the weak side tackle or nose guard, strong side tackle, and the strong side end. Starting from bottom to top, we have that field corner, strong side corner. We got a nickel player, what it seems to be here. Sometimes it could be a Sam linebacker or a rover but right here it looks like Kansas City seems to be playing with a nickel then we have our safety up top safety up top Mac linebacker or Mike and your weak side linebacker and this player right here looks to be the weak side corner who traveled over on trips it's probably something that Kansas City game plan where they said hey if we see a tight end weak side and a trips strong side we're going to roll the boundary corner over on a blitz package so you'll see the field side corner is locked up on the number one receiver that's off the ball you have that nickel player who's taking the point man and you have that boundary corner that traveled over who more than likely is gonna take number three. So as we said before, cover zero is a blitz pressure 
package man to man there's going to be no help you're going to see right now as we roll the clip that there is no help over the middle kansas city is bringing seven men to tampa bay six blockers in order to force a bad pass or get a sack so let's roll the clip so here we go the ball has been snapped you got the seven men tom's got to get it out really quick there and as you see the receiver's not currently out of his break when the ball comes out it's a quick throw quick pressure and it forces an incomplete pass we'll go ahead and rewind that really quick so we can see that one more time so we'll pause it right when we get to about here as you can see you have your blitz players right you got one two three four five six and then you have a seventh player right here his responsibility is really just to add into the box. He's chipping the tight end there, and then he'll eventually pick up the back. That's probably his job. But you still have those seven players to blitz, and then one of them is going to come free and unblock, and we'll get to Tom to either sack him or make him throw a bad pass. The top side safety up here is going to be locked on this tight end. As you can see, that nickel player took his point man. He's man-to-man, -man, stuck on him like glue. You have the field side corner that is stuck on number one, and then the safety, or in this case, it was the boundary corner that rolled over to take this number two receiver or number three however you're looking at counting it and as you see quick throw receiver wasn't out of his break yet which didn't give him enough time to get out of his break and force the incomplete pass now looking from the end zone cut this is personally my favorite way to watch film especially as a safety because most of the time even though you're not technically in the box a lot of what you do as a safety is looking at reading the guards or reading through the tackles to the quarterback and the running back so as you can see you have the four down front you got your end tackle tackle end mac linebacker will linebacker right there and this is your other safety or sam linebacker that is going to add into the blitz so as you see it happens fast but ultimately on that play kansas city won that play obviously they didn't win the super bowl but they won that play in cover zero and were able to force a bad pass and go to the next down now let's move on to our second clip so now we're on our second clip and like i said in the beginning of the video cover zero is predominantly a goal line defense you don't really see it ran that much when you're in a second or third and short or even first down and you got tons of space between the offense and the goal line so here we go now we have tampa on the goal line kansas city running again another cover zero again like we said in the start of the video cover zero is predominantly a goal line defense you will see some cover zero blitz schemes ran on some second and third and shorts when you're not in that red zone area just because some defense coordinators want to switch it up they want to put a pressure on the quarterback force a quick throw and get it out quick and they trust their cover guys enough to stay man to man and stay on their men for at least three to four seconds in order for the blitz to get there so in this particular package it's a little bit hard to see from the sideline view once we get to the end zone view you will be able to break it down a little bit in terms of who's where and who's got what but as you can see it just looks like a big jumbled mess and that's what it usually is when you're in the goal line you're usually running right behind the center of the guards you're rarely seeing you know tosses or stretches it's usually we're pounding it in we think our offensive line is better than your d line and we're going to push through and get a touchdown so as you can see it looks like kansas city has subbed out most of their defensive backfield for the most part they've kept one of their defensive back corners and their safety tyron matthew the rest are linebackers you got two mac linebackers right here and you have this linebacker who is is locked on this end player right here as you guys know they got those certain trick plays the philly special things like that so you always got to make sure that if it is your responsibility to take the end man he is eligible so they can throw him a pass so you got to make sure that if that is your guy you are staying on him and not getting your eyes in the backfield doing someone else's job so now moving on to the responsibilities on just what i broke down from the film looks like here the safety tyron matthew is going to be locked on this fullback moving wherever he goes these two guys are responsible for the running back so let's say the running back has a stretch left or gets a toss left this first linebacker will be responsible for cutting him off and forcing him inside the second linebacker will usually be responsible for picking up the back once he gets bounced back inside to make that tackle even if they run a possible option or qb boot if it's an option this guy takes the running back this guy takes the quarterback moving up to the top of the screen we got our db linebacker locked in on this eligible tight end it's really just an extra offense alignment but he is an eligible receiver and can go downfield for a pass so let's roll the clip you got a motion the safety is going to move with that motion play action and there it is right there right to the offensive lineman he almost catches it the linebacker saves himself and gets back on that play but let's watch it one more time so from the top you have the safety again move with that tight end or fullback position right there you got play action 
Linebacker almost gets caught with his eyes in the backfield, but makes up for it, gets back and makes a good pass breakup. So now seeing it from the end zone cut. Now you're going to be able to really count as a safety or a linebacker, or even as a D lineman, to be able to count and know which gap is yours, who's an eligible receiver and who's not. So if we take a look from left to right, this is going to be our eligible tight end. Even though he's an offensive lineman, he's checked in, he's reported that he can go downfield for a pass. Moving on in, we have our tackle. This guy is not going to be eligible for a pass. He's a blocking lineman, your guard, your center. Center, other guard, other tackle. And then we have another tight end. It looks like that's Gronk there. He's going to be locked up by this gentleman right here, the defensive end. And then you have your other eligible tight end who they brought in as an extra offensive lineman. And he's going to be taken by that outside linebacker that's off the screen. And again, you have your fullback who's being man-to-man -man mirrored by the safety. And just to let you in a little bit on how the gaps work. So obviously we have our A gaps on both sides right here. So you have nose right here, nose right here. They're both shooting the A gap. You have this tackle who's taking the responsibility for the B gap. And then you have this end who, in my opinion, is more than likely told jam your guy and hold him while securing the C gap. Responsibility of that D gap is going to be that outside linebacker on this side. The D gap over here is going to be the outside linebacker over here. And then you have this end who's got the C gap here, another tackle who's got the B gap there. And then you have your linebackers that are flow players slash fillers. So again, if the running back were to stretch out to the left or stretch out to the right, these guys are flowing and playing off of each other. One guy is cutting off the running back to make him bounce it back inside and the other linebacker is that help fill guy to make the tackle. So we'll roll it again. The safety again, he moves out with the tight end, fullback. You're going to have a play action. A little bit laggy there. But again, that is going to be the base of cover zero and how to play it. As you can see, Kansas City did a pretty good job on the two times that they ran it. I'm sure they ran it a few more times in this game, but on those two clips that I picked out, they got two incomplete pass or pass breakups and did a good job of running it there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate every single one of you that are watching right now. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed this Cover Zero video. And if you want to see more cover videos like this, whether it be Cover 1, Cover 2, Cover 3, just more film study videos that are going to help you guys out on the football field. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, follow me on all my social accounts so you can stay up to date with all the latest in football help from me. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.